Alright guys, today I'm bringing you a legendary item guide in Borderlands 3 and in this video we'll be looking at the COV assault rifle known as the saw bar. The red text on the weapon reads, suppressing fires. And what's special about this weapon is after you shoot a bullet and after a certain distance this bullet will stop in its path and split it into three bullets and these bullets will fly out in a direction perpendicular to the initial shot. To get this weapon we'll be farming the rare spawn known as Borman Nate who could be found on the Meridian outskirts. Once you spawn into the Meridian outskirts you just want to grab yourself a car and drive out of the little tunnel that you're in and then take a straight left, go up the ramp slightly and you'll see there's an elevator there which you can use in order to get up to it but if you go up from behind you could jump onto the elevator so you don't have to wait for it to go up and then just jump up onto the ledge take the stairs up and then in this spot you have a chance for Bormanates to spawn he spawns like the rest of the enemies they'll spawn in like the firehawk does and he'll spawn after a certain point so if you don't see him by the time you say you've crossed this small little bridge then he won't have spawned and you'll want to save and quit but otherwise if he has spawned you could just go ahead and kill him and the saw bar has an increased chance to drop from him the saw bar is actually a returning weapon from Borderlands 2 but in this game it's a legendary opposed to its pearlescent counterpart. Both guns are near identical however in Borderlands 3 it seems to have had its effective range increased which either way you can lend towards being a nerf or a buff but in this instance I'm going to say it's quite a big nerf. In Borderlands 2 it was easy because the distance between you shooting a bullet and it splitting off into three was pretty low so it was really easy just to get up into someone's face and you could easily adjust by taking a few steps back and then there you go you could be dealing that increased damage. But in this game as you can see the distance between where you spawn in Carnivora and the gate into Carnivora it's roughly that distance is how far the bullet can travel before it splits into three and this could be very annoying when you consider the fact that in order to get the most effective damage out of this gun you want to be getting this bullet to split into three and when you're having to jump back a load of paces in order to get that increased damage it's a very finicky gun to use that being said when you can get the three bullets to hit an enemy it does absolutely devastating damage I'm on mayhem three and it's wrecking enemies as if I was to just I don't know use a really good weapon on normal mode. Again, like I tend to say, because this gun only comes in incendiary damage, shields really become an annoying factor with this weapon. But once you've cleared the shields, the health bar drops immediately. Any enemies that spawn without a shield really drop just instantly, and it's just a, it's a nice weapon to use. By the fact, there's that really annoying adjustment that you have to make in order to use the gun. Because of this, I had a thought that this gun is probably the best to use against stationary bosses, and the first stationary boss I thought of was Grave Ward. So I went and gave this a go against Grave Ward, and unfortunately, although the range has been increased, the range is still not high enough in order to reach Grave Ward whilst you're tiptoeing on the edge of the platform. This means you can only really use this gun against him when he has his arms attached to the platform, so in the walls above you, either to the left or to the right. It's definitely a noticeable amount of damage, but the amount of time that he spends with his arms stuck in the wall is just nothing, and most of the damage that you usually tend to get off of Grave Ward is through hitting his chest, hitting his eye when he's down, etc. Because of this, I wouldn't recommend getting this weapon per se. It's just a shame that they have increased the range so much because that adjusting to get that three bullets to hit an enemy can be really annoying. Especially on Carnivora with COV enemies, most of them tend to run towards you or keep a certain distance from you and it's really difficult to back up as quickly as they're running towards you and deal that damage. And once on the worst side of that is the single bullet that the weapon fires it doesn't seem to do much damage on Mayhem 3 whatsoever so you definitely want to be getting those three bullets to hit an enemy which is just unfortunate. But that's it for the video guys, I hope you found this useful. Make sure to subscribe for future legendary item guides on my channel. And yeah, see you in the next video.